Garmin Basecamp is a powerful route planning tool with a steep learning curve. A lot of people have given up on Basecamp before getting to the top of the curve. This video series is intended to help you get to the point where you can use Basecamp comfortably. In earlier videos, you learned how to create and modify routes and how to create waypoints and a waypoints catalog. Please watch those videos before continuing with this one. Now let's learn how to add waypoints to routes and then put it all together to build a complete trip. Let's look at three ways to add waypoints to our route. I'm going to double click and open up the route dialog box. Notice I haven't selected any of the points in the route list. I'm going to click the green plus button over here to insert a waypoint. In this list we have our listed waypoints that are in the catalog and we can add any of them to the route by selecting an insert waypoint. Now notice that when you do that and none of the items was selected, the new waypoint is at the bottom of the list. And then you would have to select it and use the arrows to move it up and put it in the proper place in the list. Um, that might be a little inconvenient. So right click, delete the waypoint. Now let's click the city center and click plus to add our waypoint of the Chevron station, insert waypoint. Now when we close, it'll recalculate. And notice that the arrows here are going uh, back and forth. So we have gone up to the gas station, back to Sitter City, and back. So we, by putting the new waypoint above what we selected, it's in the wrong place and we have to bring it down so it's in the proper order. I'm going to zoom in. And the second way to add a waypoint to our route is to use the, have the route selected, use the Alt key and drag the route to a waypoint. And you can drag to an address, as we did here, or to any of the icons. So we can drag, let's say, to the Dairy Queen. Alt, drag, and that's been added to our list. Notice the arrow going back, so it's going to go um, to someone's house, to the Chevron, to the Dairy Queen, and or to the Dairy Queen and back to the Chevron. It's a little confusing. So you can see it, the order that we're going to go in here in the route list. And if we want to go to the gas station first, we would move that up. And let's zoom in. And we can also drag to an icon or an address that's not listed in the catalog. So if I Alt and drop it on the Sonic, it uh, added it to the route. But notice that the Sonic is not listed in our catalog. Open the route and you see that it's been added to the route, but it didn't add it to the list to, of, you know, of our catalog list of waypoints. Here's the third way to add a waypoint to our route. With the route selected, double click on an address or a uh, POI. This is Cooper's Old Time Barbecue. I've been there. It's a 
good place for barbecue, I recommend it. When you double click, this box comes up and you can create a new waypoint or you can start a new route or add it to the route. If we add it to the route, as I'm going to do here, and then open up the route details, it gets added to the bottom of the list and we would have to then move it up to the right place. So I'm going to delete that and close the route details and go back to Cooper's and so rather than doing that method I recommend that you activate the route and alt drag to the waypoint. Let's put together the things we've learned so far to build a three-day trip. I want to go from Amarillo to Flagstaff. We'll stay overnight in Tucumcari and in Gallup and we'll visit Meteor Crater and the Petrified Forest National Park. Now I've got my waypoints catalog. I added another list for attractions and I put some attractions in that list. We have our cities list and we have our hotels list. So let's begin to build our route. We start by clicking on the list that's going to hold the route. Then we click the new route button to bring up the dialog. Click on our cities list and drag Amarillo to the start point and drag Flagstaff to the destination and click go. So we're in the waypoints 3 list and there's our route. And here's the route details box. Now let's see if we can add some of the waypoints to it. If I click the plus to insert the waypoint, which is the first way we learned, there's nothing in the list. Why is that? That's because uh, there are no other waypoints in this list. You have to copy waypoints from the waypoints catalog to the list that holds your route. So let's click on the two attractions, right click, copy, go to our route list and paste. So now we have our attractions and we'll right click on the two selected hotels, copy and paste. So we have our hotels and our attractions and we have our route. So now when we go back to the hand, because that route is still active, go back to the hand and open it up. When we click the plus button, our waypoints, our listed waypoints are in the list and we can add from that list. So let's click Flagstaff so what we add goes before it. And what comes before it will be the El Rancho Hotel in Gallup. And I'll insert that. And before the El Rancho Hotel, we'll add the Blue Swallow Hotel in Tucumcari. And then close and Control D to show the route on our map. So that's the first way we learned how to add waypoints to a route, to use the plus button in the route details box. Let's use the second way, which is to alt drag. So I'm going to zoom in here, and the route is active. Hold the alt key and drag the route to the icon for the petrified forest. Let's look in the route list, and there it was added, just as we expected it to be. And then I'm going to go over here, 
and zoom in some more. Alt drag to the meteor crater icon and check our route and there that's been added. Control D to show the whole route. Now let's split this route into three days. So we'll click the divide icon, click on the route and you hover over the route. You see it turns dark. Click on the route and do we want to share the waypoint, the El Rancho Hotel? Yes. So that created one route and let's change its color so we can tell what we've got. We'll make it red. I'm going to go back to the hand to drag the map. Then use the divide button and click on the route. Oop. Make the route active. Then click on the divide and then click on the route and yes we want to share the blue swallow. Go back to the hand. And I'm going to change the color of that route to green. Then drag over and we have left this part that we started with. I'll change that color. And then click on this, Control D, show on map, and we see our entire route split into two, three segments. We looked at three ways to add waypoints to our route. In the route details box, we can click on the green plus symbol and add a waypoint from that list. Or we can go into the route and alt drag the route to either an icon or to an address. And thirdly, we can double click on a point and add the point to the selected route, but we don't recommend it that because it puts that waypoint at the end of the list instead of at the proper point in the list for the route. Now recapping the way we created our three-day route. We started by clicking on the list that was going to contain the route. Then we clicked on the route icon to bring up the dialog. We clicked on our cities and we dragged our starting city and our ending city to the route dialog box and clicked go. Then we copied the attractions we wanted to go to and the hotels we wanted to stay at into the list, copied and paste into the list where we are building our routes. Then we used the divide button to hover over the route and clicked on it to split it in two. And then we went to the remainder and we clicked on that remaining route and clicked the divide button, hovered over it and clicked to split it, and then we were left with the original piece, the first part. There you have it, adding waypoints to a route and using a waypoints catalog to assist in building a route. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful. Please leave a comment and a thumbs up so YouTube will suggest this video to others. I suggest you next watch the video on search followed by folders and lists and databases. Then there are videos on importing from Google Maps using the Trip Planner and five videos on custom waypoints. 
If you want to support this channel, please visit the Amazon pages on my website where I have affiliate links to products I use. Also, many thanks to those who have bought me a cup of coffee on buymeacoffee.com. In any case, I appreciate your support and all the positive comments. I'll see you in the next video.